Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to be here to share with you again. I'm sure you are all doing fine. Thank you so much for making time. The sacrifice you have made to be here, your time is so precious and I want to say thank you for coming. Guys, I appreciate you. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. And to all of you that are my amazing subscribers, you have been so supportive. Thank you for being part of this family. I appreciate you greatly. Please endeavor to watch the videos to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share this video as much as you can. I will so much appreciate your effort in doing that. Thank you so much one more time. And all of you are welcome to another video on this channel, The Purchase Corner. All right, let's go straight into the gist that we have to share together at this moment. Lafia Township Stadium to host Golden Eaglet, Nigeria under 15 and the Nigeria under 13. What am I talking about? The Nigerian Football Federation is considering Lafia Township Stadium for camping and matches of Golden Eaglet under 17. Also, Nigeria under 15s and the Nigeria under 13s. Yes, NFF, Nigerian Football Federation, seriously considering using the newly renovated Lavia Tanshi Stadium in Nasarawa State as a base for the national under 17 team, Golden Eaglet, under 15 and under 13 teams for camping and also to play. Their matches. This was made known by the president of the, of the Nigerian Football Federation, Ibrahim Musa Gusau. Okay, according to the president, they are considering this seriously. Gusau disclosed this while responding to Nasarawa State Governor Engineer Abdullahi Sule's request to partner the NFF, Nigerian Football Federation, in the development of football, especially at the grassroots and youth levels. Nasrawa State Governor Engineer Abdullah Suli paid a visit to the Nigerian Football Federation Secretariat and emphasized his desire to partner with the Nigerian Football Federation in the aspect of football to harness the pool of talents that abound the state for job creation and development. According to him, and I quote, I want to congratulate you and the Nigerian Football Federation leadership for the wonderful performance of our senior women, women football team, the Super Falcons, at the recently concluded 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, co-hosted by New Zealand and Australia, as well as the qualification of the Super Eagles for the next year's African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. We hope to see wonderful results like this in the future, Governor Stule, Sule noted. But most importantly, according to him, I wish to inform you that we have a lot of talent in Nasarawa State. Since I assumed office as governor, I have been trying my best to bring out those hidden talents, having spent most of my life in the private sector. What we are doing is to catch those talent young, which was what necessitated my visit. He went further to say that we are seeking your support in this area to ensure that we continue to support our young people to show interest in football because sports is no longer for recreation but a huge business and this depends on the way you approach it. However, for us to get to that level, we have to invest. I'm happy to inform you that the investment started with the refurbishing of our stadium which has been completed now. The governor said that stadium was one of the reasons Nasrawa United got relegated when it was undergoing renovation. But now I'm on my feet to ensure that this relegation doesn't proceed beyond one season because we don't belong to where we are now. We have to move back to where we belong, which is the top flight league. Okay. Uh, when he was responding, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Ibrahim Musa, thanked the governor for the visit, he said the governor's art was an indication that he is sincere and passionate about sport and his development in Nasarawa State. 
and uh, the country at large. All right, uh, you, the NFF president added, we have to see how we can use the Laf Lafayette Stadium as a base for our under 13, under 15, and the under 17 boys because it is only when they use that pitch that awareness can be created and the youths are encouraged to be part of the team. NFF said, NFF chairman, I mean president said, all right, that is uh, the NFF president remarking that the NFF is considering using Lafayette Township Stadium as a base for camping and for matches of the Golden Eagle under 17, under 15, and under 13 boys. All right. And uh, of course, this was preceded by the visit of, that's what I was saying, Governor, visiting the NFF uh, president. Well, guys, what do you? What is your opinion? What do you have to say to that uh, assertion by the Nigerian Football Federation president? Acknowledge the fact that uh, there is possibility of using Lafia Tonshi Stadium as a base and camping for for future in Nigeria under seventeen, under fifteen, under thirteen. Moving on. I'd like to know your opinion. I'd like to know your view about this. Is this it, is it, is it something that is good to be considered? How do you fancy that? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. I'll be glad you do that. If you have watched this video to this moment, I want to say thank you very much for your love and your support. I sincerely appreciate all you do to support this channel. Thank you one more time. I always say to you that if you can dream, you can achieve it. Keep dreaming, keep achieving. And always be the best you can. Till I come your witness time with another video. I say to you guys, bye bye.